In this lesson, we're going to look at how to work out the values of A and B. We've got a slightly different format here um, when trying to work out the exponential graph uh, function. Or instead of y equals kx to the n, we're going to work it with y equals ab to the x. Now, this is slightly different than the last example, since you need to plot log y against just x. And we'll look at why that is in a second. So, let's see how this rearranges to form the equation of a straight line or the straight line format. So, we start off the same way, taking logs of both sides. Again, same thing, split the log ab to the x into a plus, so log a against log b to the x with a plus from log laws uh, 1, multiplication becomes add. Take your x down from log law 3, and then rearrange this, so write this first. Now you'll see this time there's a slight difference. What we're doing, we're saying is the log of b is now the gradient, and log of a is the same idea as before, that's the intercept. But you can see that x, we're not looking at log of x against log y, we're just looking at x against log y, and that's why um, when you're trying to work out these values, you just take the log of y against x, and not the log of both. So let's look at an example here. The relationship between two variables is in the form y equals ab to the x. An experiment to test this relationship produced the data shown in the graph where log y to the base 3 is plotted against x. So you can see x against log y, not log of both. Our job is to work out the values of a and b. So start off with this format and just do what we did in the last screen. Take logs of both sides, this time to the base 3, because we've got a 3 up here. Like that. Split this up uh, to a plus, and then take your x down. Okay, I've rearranged that at the same time, taking the x down. Now I'm just going to rewrite that with the log first, and that's what we're looking at here. This is your intercept, and this part here, log b to the base 3, is your gradient. So we can equate these things using the information from the graph. We know our gradient's 2, so that's going to equal 2, this bit at the front. And we know our intercept's 2.3, so that part's going to equal 2.3. So to work out the value of b, 3 is our base, 2 is our power, so it's going to be 3 squared, which is 9. And same idea here, to work out the value of a, 3 is your base, 2.3 is your power. And uh, to take that into the calculator, you get 12.5. So y equals 12.5 times 9 to the power of x. And you're finished. So the only main difference is the rearranging goes slightly different. And instead of just doing delta y over delta x here, or just writing the gradient down, you have to rearrange into exponential form from log form, just like you do for the intercept in both types of questions.